Well, a win in the Hudson Valley could help Republicans seize control of the House. Republican Mike Lawler defeated incumbent Sean Patrick Maloney in a district that spans across the northern suburbs. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has reaction from both candidates. Running on fumes after a long night, Congressman elect Mike Lawler dropped a great one liner. The Republican, noting he's soon to represent a district that includes Chappaqua in northern Westchester. Well, as Hillary Clinton's new congressman, um... <laughs> Lawler proving to be a political giant killer in his first run for Congress, knocking out five turn incumbent Sean Patrick Maloney, who's a key player on Team Pelosi. The Speaker asked Maloney to be in charge of the Democrats' midterm effort, and he lost his own seat. I'm not going to whine about it. Um, um, I'm going to I'm going to do this the right way, and the right thing to do is to say. The other guy won to wish him well and to pledge my support, and that's what I'm doing. The pain of his loss slightly mitigated for Maloney. His efforts helped Dems hold off a red wave, his party outperforming midterm expectations of losing 30 or more seats. We gave it our all, and we beat the spread. Lawler wants to see federal spending reduced. He thinks it's unsustainable. He confirmed he will support Kevin McCarthy for House Speaker if the Republicans move into the majority. But he also spoke of a willingness to dialogue with ideological opposites. Um, anybody who's met me for more than five seconds know I'll talk to anybody. Uh, so it, for me, it, I'm just going to be myself and go talk to every single member of Congress uh, from AOC uh, all the way to, you know, obviously uh, Leader McCarthy. Lawler says his role model in Congress will be Long Island Republican Peter King, who commanded a lot of respect across the aisle during his decades in Congress. In New City, Rockland County, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The GOP did pick up a second seat in the Hudson Valley last night. Dutchess County Executive Mark Molinaro won in the 19th Congressional District.